मैं शशांक नागर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट स्ट्रेटेजी फॉर क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड सेक्शन ऑफ कैट एग्जामिनेशन सो वॉट आई डेड वॉज आई डिवाइडेड माई फोर्टी मिनट्स इन टू टू पार्ट्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी मिनट्स इन द फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी मिनट आई स्कैन थ्रू ऑल द क्वेश्चन एंड ट्राई टू सॉल्व ऑल द इजी क्वेश्चन एज वेल एज सम ऑफ द मीडियम क्वेश्चन आफ्टर सींग ऑल द क्वेश्चन इन द नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी मिनट्स I attempted some of the medium questions that were remaining, and I also tried uh, hard questions. So this whole strategy helps us in uh, seeing all the questions, and it do not let us leave questions that are easy yet we are not able to see them due to time pressure. So this is one of the strategy which worked for me in CAT examination, and you can try this strategy for your next mock. All the best for CAT examination. Hello guys, this is Vrishali Nikhade. so i am here to talk about the quant sectional parts of the cat examination so i was always strong in the arithmetic and algebra section so i was easily able to attempt many questions and score good marks what i think you should guys you guys should do is uh, in the first 15 to 20 minutes you should go through the paper once and try to attempt the questions which you feel are easy to solve which are purely formula based and which won't require much of time so please try to solve those questions accurately and what you can do in the second half that is the second 15 to 20 minutes is uh, attempt the questions which you feel are a little more difficult which you might take a little bit more time to solve and uh, maybe you can attempt uh, all of these questions maybe you could try to attempt at least 14 to 15 questions from which you can, you should at least be able to solve 10 to 12 questions with the right accuracy which will easily be able to get you uh, more than 95 or 96 percentile in the point section thank you and all the best so hi i am harsh so talking about the quant section uh, what worked for me was i think to practice a lot practice a lot from a few fixed good sources I mean, some of them which I can think of are uh, the Arun Sharma book. That that that's pretty good. I think there are various levels of difficulty, and it covers I think pretty much everything. And then maybe practice a lot of mocks is what I would say. And then uh, try to analyze what went wrong. You know, whichever question went wrong, uh, try to maybe you know uh, possibly if you have the time, uh, prepare an Excel sheet uh, stating you know which question went wrong, and then uh, uh, you know uh, write down what I was thinking. Do you, Uh, when it went wrong so that helps to change your state of mind uh, in the exam and uh, perform better hello guys i am siddh deshmukhe i am here to tell you some tips on how to prepare for qa section of cat so i would like to start with first tip and first and foremost tip that is keep practicing practicing is the key to solve the qa sections because the more you practice the more exposure you will get to the different problems so first thing is you should practice more problems of different varieties and the second thing is that uh, whichever problem sets you are solving you just need to analyze it after the exam so that uh, you, you you will be knowing that where you are lacking which skills you need to improve and uh, which sets to solve more and on the day of exam you should uh, not waste your time on one particular problem if if you are not able to solve that problem just skip it and go for the another problem i still remember my first cat attempt uh, where i didn't practice and i wasn't even able to score 50 percentile and within the two or three months of practice also i was able to uh, cross the 99 percentile so if i can then you can also do it uh, all the best thank you hi guys i am ridhima shandan So here I am about to talk about the quantitative aptitude section for CAT. The main uh, focus areas in quantitative aptitude section are the arithmetic, algebra, and geometry. Being from an engineering background, arithmetic and algebra they were my strong suits. Geometry was not one of the sections that I was particularly strong at, but uh, for geometry I focused on the easier, uh, so easier parts. So the main uh, yeah, suggestion for you guys would be. that give more and more mocks understand what are your strong areas in the quantitative section that may be arithmetic algebra geometry and understand that and give your best shot and to achieve a 99 plus percentile in a particular section in particular in quant you need to achieve a uh, need to attempt about 40 to 15 questions with a good amount of accuracy so focus on your accuracy part also so that's about it all the best guys